look at another energy flow diagram. So you have a ball that starts up really high and drops down low to the ground and it stops bouncing when it hits the ground. So your task is to pause this video and figure out what the um, bar graphs are going to look like for the kinetic energy, potential energy, and the thermal energy as the ball starts off really high and drops down to the ground. Notice on the ground when it hits, that's immediately after impact. And that bar that's the second one from the top, it is the middle of it, so that's the middle height of, that the ball is falling. Okay, pause the video now and take a guess what the bars are going to look like. So hopefully you took a guess at what the bars are going to look like, and I'm going to number them 1, 2, 3, and 4 just so I can talk about them a little bit easier. Remember a couple of different things about this. Potential energy, that's mgh, so h determines the potential energy that it has. And for kinetic energy, that's 1 half mv squared, so that goes as the velocity goes, velocity squared goes actually. Now let's take a look at this. At position number 1, that's the maximum height. So if that's going to be at the maximum height, let's see, I also know at position 1 that it stopped moving. So therefore, all the energy is just going to be in potential energy because it's maximum height, and because it's not moving, there's no kinetic energy. Position 2, I said that was half the height. So here it is at half the height. If it's half the height, the other half of the energy, that, well, that went into moving the object. So that's kinetic energy. So the two bars are going to be the same height, the kinetic and the potential energy. At the lowest point, that's the easiest one to figure out. So if I look at the lowest point, well, it's the lowest point. But wait a minute, at the lowest point, it also stopped moving. So if it doesn't have any height and stop moving, where'd the energy go? Well, it went to thermal energy. In other words, it's heating up something. In this case, the ground, eventually the air all around it. So that's where the total energy went to. So that total energy at the top that was PE is now all in thermal energy, and it's lost. We're not going to be able to get it back. So what about in between at position 3? Well, position 3, potential energy is somewhere between halfway and zero. So I'll just kind of draw something that represents that. And the kinetic energy makes up the rest of the length of that bar. So that's the kinetic energy right there. Now the actual heights of the bars really don't matter. What matters are the trends. So at position 1, 2, and 3, you can see the potential energy starts off really tall and gets shorter and shorter and shorter. At positions 1, 2, and 3, you can see the kinetic energy starts off at 0 and then gets longer and longer until finally it's all gone at position 4. So it's those trends, not the actual height of the bar that's so important.